Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today's going to be kind of a little off video, but I've gotten several requests, and by several I mean at least 12 or more before I take in consideration to make a video for it. Um, I had mentioned before that my blade was dull like a long time ago on my chop saw, and I mentioned that I had gotten new ones at Lowe's. And here's the new ones. So, I and people started saying, well, can you do a video on how you properly change a blade on a saw? Well, I don't know how you properly do it, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. So that being said, let's get right into it. The first thing that I do, first and foremost, make absolutely positive sure it's unplugged, which I've done. And then I'll go in here and I'll, I'll make sure that the cord gets put up somewhere where it cannot be plugged in while I'm working on it without me seeing it. So then I, I lift up the guard on this one. This is a DeWalt. And I loosen up this, which allows me to slide. And you got to go out quite a bit to loosen it to get it to slide up the way that you want it to. And once you've got it slide up, then I tighten it back down just a little. And that holds everything. Then you take your half inch wrench. There's a button on this side. Let me see if I can get you guys in here to show you this button. Let's just set you up on this side for a minute. There's a button right here. You can see the black button. You want to push it down and then with your hand rotate the blade and it locks, you can feel it lock. So then you take and you loosen up your blade and mine is just standard lefty loosey, righty tighty. But make note of which way your blade is. You're cutting in like this, in case you forget or you don't know. You always wanna make sure that this blade, your new blade is oriented the same way as your old blade. If not, you're cutting backwards. You're just gonna be burning through it. So once that's locked, you just take this bolt out. And no, I am sorry. On this one, it's the opposite. It is right to loosen, left to tighten. I'm sorry I said that wrong a minute ago. I, I, as soon as I said it, it didn't sound right. And then you take your little piece here off and your bolt, lay them off to the side. And take the blade and shimmy it until it comes off, and you're out. There's your blade. So I'll put the old blade down here. I'll put the new blade back in. And I'm going to use the larger tooth blade. It's 24 tooth, and I'm going to put it back on. Remember, we want to go down, normally, just wherever your writing is. Just make sure that it faces out. But just to make sure we check the orientation of our blade, it goes down. We're going to put this back in, slide it over the hole. Now I'm going to switch your sides. You guys already know what that black button is. Now I'm going to bring you back over here. And get you down here on the saw. Okay. So now that you've done that, once again, you're going to put on your collar. And this tells you which way to loosen it and tighten it, by the way. And I think all of them do. That has a notch to go on a certain way. See, I can't put it on that way. But if you keep spinning it, it'll go on correctly. Then you take your bolt. And in this case, it's left to tighten. Once again, I'm sorry I spoke misspoke earlier. And then I just take and run my blade again. Now, you may have to tighten it just a little bit. Okay. 
we're back in the lock. I take my half inch and I remember which way I go. And you want it pretty snug. You don't want to over tighten it, but you want a good amount of pressure on it. Which I'm comfortable with that. Your lock, you just kind of go like that and your lock will come off. And that's the black button on the other side. Put your screwdriver or your wrenches up. I brought out multiples in case it wasn't the right size. So now you're going to take and lift this back up and loosen this bolt right here until it falls back down into place. You may have to help it a little bit. Once it falls back down into place, tighten that bolt back up. And this is a standard right to tidy left to loosey. The only one that isn't is because of your blade and the reason that that is, we'll tighten that back up really good and now you can see it all works again. You check to make sure that this is opening. Let me get you down here a little bit. You want to check to make sure that this is opening, but when you raise it back up, it closes. That's what this arm is. Okay, now that you've done that, now you can safely take your saw and plug it back in. And just like that, you're ready to go again. Now, if I take this piece of wood right here you can see how it used to chip and burr it all up and you can see how it burnt the ends probably on both no that's a factory end see how it burnt the ends now if I put this on there noise alert normally it won't leave any chips and stuff I just, I didn't go back far enough on my other one. I only just took a sliver off. But look, no burn marks. And I didn't have to force it. It went through like a hot knife through melted butter. And that is all that you do to change the blade. Now, when I'm not around my saw, I keep my saw unplugged. But, I'm just pulling out debris out of my saw. It's a great time to just kind of clean your saw up a little bit. Um, check and make sure that you know everything's functioning properly and there you go if you've got a little chip of wood right in here let me show you this um, okay we'll take this larger piece right here if you just got a chip of wood right in here and then you go to put your board up against it See, if I cut that close here, gapped here, if I go to cut that, my cut's going to be crooked. So always make sure that you keep this cleaned off. Always make sure that you keep that cleaned off. But anyways, that is all there is to doing a saw. That's all that there is. Now, I will take mine since I'm going to walk away from it for a second. And I lock it, which is just as a little lock back here. That way, in case a kid would accidentally walk in here, which they don't, but just in case that they did, then I'll feel safer. I'm getting ready to use that. We're getting ready to do the last window trim. That'll be on another video. But like I said, I got at least 12 people asking me, can you please show us how to put on a blade on a chop saw? And probably four or more of those said, can you show us properly how to put on one? Well, I don't know if that's proper, but that's the way that I put on one. I've never actually watched a professional do it, a professional blade changer. I'm not even sure if there's such a thing. But I've been doing it for 40 years probably, and that's the way that I do it. And it's safe. Make sure that you unplug that saw first. First and foremost, before you even touch it, make sure it's unplugged and you know where that end is. Because if you're like me, you're in a construction zone, you see you got stuff plugged in everywhere. 
and you may accidentally unplug the wrong thing. So run it all the way back up to the saw, have it in your hand, and know for a fact that you're not going to get hurt. Keep yourself safe. With all that being said, please give this video a thumbs up. Please like the video, comment down below. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button. Once you do that, smash that bell notification, go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post. Let's see, follow us on Facebook under general vlog video. Please share us on other social media platforms. And when I ask you to subscribe, it's not like a magazine subscription. It doesn't cost a dime. It just helps our channel grow. Same way with a thumbs up. A thumbs up really helps our channel grow. With all that being said, if you need to know anything about us, click the show more button down below. It's right below this video, just right down here. And it'll tell you how to get a hold of us, email us, and everything. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And I may have got a new blade on my chop saw, but I'm still my own cameraman, which means I got to get up close and personal and poke you guys in the ear to turn this thing off. We'll see you on the next video. Have a super, super great day and stay safe, please.